Jacob Rogers. I'm from Madison East High School, and this is my prep profile. Well, Jacob, a multiple sport athlete, this is your main season coming up, tennis. Uh, how much do you look forward to this every year? I'm looking forward to it a lot. Um, it's kind of every year kind of brings a different kind of experience, you know. Um, every year you kind of have a different group of guys coming out, um, and you kind of have, you know, um, who's going to fit where and who's going to play what and um, how you're going to do as an individual. And it's just kind of cool to see how, you know, all the hard work in the off season is going to pay off when your season comes up next week. Well, you've, been get, you've been able to go to the team and the individual state tournament. How cool is it to have a team tournament for tennis? It's great because um, I know there's a lot of there's a lot of other sports that don't actually have that um, and where um, you can't go to both. So if you're a really good athlete but your team isn't as good, you don't have that opportunity. But here you can go to both individual and team. And team's just a great way where you get a whole bunch of fans coming out to Niels' tennis stadium at the end of the season and you know it's a big a really big deal and it's always really fun to go out there and see how you can compete against these other schools from different parts of the state. I uh, understand uh, your first sport was like your sister's sport uh, was soccer. Huh? It was a team your dad coached. What was that like? Do you um, remember back when you first started? Yeah it was a long time ago. I always remember you know running in a whole pack around the field, which was kind of interesting, you know, starting off in those little tiny fields with the flags for goals. And, um, and it was fun to have, you know, the whole family. It was kind of a whole family affair. Every Saturday you'd go down to drive somewhere and you'd go play a match against a different school. And it was always really fun, you know, to kind of have my dad there kind of coaching me along the way. And that was pretty cool. Now I have a twin sister, and uh, you're the oldest? Yes. And uh, I, I understand you like to hold that over a little bit. Yeah, it, um, we kind of have a competition between each other to see, you know, I always kind of trash talk her, you know, and she'll trash talk me kind of, oh, I did better than you at this or I did better than you at that. And uh, it's, a, it's a friendly rivalry, we'll say. <laughs> now she says, oh, she don't play much tennis against each other because you beat her all the time. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but she'll beat me in soccer. All right, okay, there you go. <laughs> now you get to watch her in the fall and she gets to watch you in the spring. How, how cool is that to have opposite seasons? It's cool. It works out really well because my parents can still, you know, go to different, they can go to her in the fall and then me in the spring and really, you know, kind of spread the whole family thing around. I guess it's it's pretty cool. It works out well. Any other sports that you really liked? Uh, you tried a few other along the way? Um, played soccer for a long time. Um, did a little cross country, which was also pretty cool because it's kind of, that's a really big team sport too because everybody's just out there running around, having a good time. Um, but you can also get serious when you need to. Um, Play a little pickup basketball now and then. I'm not going to say I'm very good at that, but I kind of wish I was. But it's okay. Me and my friends have fun with it. Do you have a um, most memorable moment uh, from any of the sports? Yeah. Um, my freshman year, um, we won our tennis sectional. Um, and we had um, our senior captain on the team, kind of Gilmore. That was kind of his dream at the beginning of the year because they had um, the Madison East Tennis had gone um, to states like for the last three or four years, um, and this was his last year, so we kind of wanted to, you know, continue that tradition, and we worked hard during the season, and it all paid off in the end when we made it to state um, after the sectional win. You have a most memorable uh, teammate or uh, an athlete or, you know, on, on any of the sports you've been in? Yeah, um, my tennis teammate and also cross-country teammate, Emiliano Freire, um, he plays, I'm pretty sure he's played every season since freshman year, which I think is just remarkable, and he's also, and he, He's able to compete at a high level at every single one of those. Um, I'm actually very impressed that he's able to do that. I was never able to do that. I only focus on one sport, so <laughs> works out well for him. And um, you look at uh, your family. How, how big has your sister had an impact on you being in sports and vice versa, do you think? I think we're able to just um, push each other to compete at such a high level, um, you know, with getting out to practice together, kind of working with each other, kind of talking through, you know, different problems that we've had with sports. Um, and also our parents are able to help us out, you know, um, what we need to work on, what are some things they notice while we're playing. And since um, me and her both know the game pretty well, um, the game of tennis, we're able to, you know, kind of help each other out if there's something we see that, you know, maybe your forehand isn't that good and you need to work on it or something. Um, it's really easy for us to kind of tell each other what we see as fans on the sidelines. So she uh, she wants to meet uh, Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. <laughs> they had a little going. Is there an athlete or somebody that you like to meet uh, that you find interesting? 
Um, maybe like any Olympic athletes. You know, the Olympics are coming up in the fall or in the, the late fall, the summer. Um, and I, that's probably one of my favorite things to watch besides, you know, football or the Super Bowl. Um, and it's just a great time to kind of see people representing their country in different ways um, and kind of see sports that you don't normally see, um, such as like gymnastics. I remember back in the 08 Olympics, um, I remember watching gymnastics all the time. I just thought it was the coolest thing. Because, you know, I was like, how can you do a, whatever, a triple backflip sort of thing on a beam? So um, I'm looking forward to the Olympics this summer. And I, if I could meet any of those athletes, that'd be really cool. Uh, nickname, Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> Where'd that come from? Um, so Connor, I always had, in tennis, I've always had these long sort of um, Hollywood-esque type matches that just seem to never end. And were filled with a lot of, you know, drama and maybe unnecessary drama. Um, so I think it was maybe my sophomore year, um, the Gilmores, Connor and Stratton kind of just nicknamed me Hollywood for my drama-esque type matches that just never ended. You like those? So is that the fun part of tennis too sometimes? Yeah, it, it can happen. The matches just never seem to end and it's... it's uh, everybody else is long done and you're just kind of still out there Giving it your all and till the very last point, which I really like about tennis, really cool. I said your role model is your grandfather. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, Jim Rogers. Um, my dad's name's also Jim Rogers, but he's the first. One. Um, and how's he inspired you? He's just a really down-to-earth guy, and he's always there supporting. He comes to pretty much every match that I've ever had, and he's always there cheering me on. And even if I play terrible, he always says. You played really well. You did a really nice job and kind of gives me a little pat on the back and a little laugh and we move on. But he, yeah, really nice guy. Kind of keeps things in perspective. Yeah, he helps does. Out. Yeah, he does. I said he liked football. You have a favorite team? Green Bay Packers. Packers, of course. One and only. Okay. And uh, YouTube. How popular is YouTube, do you think? Uh, is that... Uh, it's, you know, the social networking. Are you into a lot of that? I'm not super into social networking. Um, I don't understand Twitter. I don't understand the fascination with that. I do a Facebook account, um, but YouTube, you know, there's so many things out there you can watch. If you need some information, you can go there too. Um, that's where I listen to all my music. Um, you know, find new artists to listen to, stuff like that. Watch videos. I really like it. Great avenue, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. <laughs> well, as somebody older, you can go back and find older music there yeah. too, which is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Um, as far as activities, you know, a lot of different things, uh, engineering club, and your sister said uh, Appalachia Service Project, mm -hmm. you guys are both into that. Mm -hmm. What have you done with that? Um, so we go with our church down to the Appalachia Mountain Range and just kind of spend a week um, in a rural community, maybe staying at like a, a school or a church, um, and working on houses to um, fix them up, because a lot of this is probably, this is one of the poorest regions in our, in America. So we just kind of spend a week, you know, getting to know the families and fixing up their houses. Um, last year when I went, um, we put in a new floor and part of a new roof for a, for a family that, you know, the floor was like sinking down and rotting. So it's a really just cool experience to kind of, you know, get to work with your hands, learn kind of some carpentry skills, but also um, form a lot of bonds with people that you would never otherwise meet in a different part of the country, which I think is pretty cool. So do you consider yourself handy? Can you fix things, or are you um, learning? Not, not too handy. I'm, I'm learning slowly. Um, I don't know. I want to be, I mentioned in there that I want to be an engineer, so it's kind of good practice to kind of be able to work with other people and kind of learn how to do some, you know, carpentry, engineering type things. Now you're looking to go into Iowa? Yes. And your sister's going to go to Wisconsin, yes. so first time you've been really split up? Yeah, it's going to be weird. Um, you know, you've had those weak summer camps in the summer where you go off, but We've never really been away from each other for, you know, four years, I guess. So it's going to be weird. It's going to be going to take some time to adjust to it. But we're both, I think we're both pretty individualistic, I think. So I think we'll be able to adjust pretty well. And, you know, we'll still stay in contact, I think, a lot. How did Iowa come into the picture? Um, I visited there last year because, um, again, not, not trying to follow him, but Connor Gilmore goes there, and he asked me to come down to visit. And I really liked it. Um, it kind of has this... Madison feel to it, but a lot smaller. Um, it's far enough away where I can't see my parents every weekend. Kind of wanted to get away, and um, I don't know. I just really like the campus and the atmosphere that Iowa presents. So.
seemed like a good fit for me. When you look back in your time at East, what are you going to remember most about being here? <sighs> Man, a lot of things. Um, I think I'll go with just meeting such a wide variety of people. Um, you know, East has such a great diversity that you're able to um, talk to people that you would never see before, people that don't live in your neighborhood, and everybody's just so accepting of everybody else. That it's, it's really great. Um, and, you know, you're able to form bonds with people and make a lot of lasting friendships that I think will last me through the rest of my life, which is really cool.